We've seen their faces on television, heard their voices on radio, but I think it's human nature to be curious about what people are into and what they're really like behind the scenes. Our next guest is a very familiar face here on Great Day Live, and she's been gracing our television for years. I'm so happy to welcome the wonderful Claudia Coffee. Hi, Claudia. Hey, Joanne. So good to see you. So good to see you, too. Okay, Claudia, are you ready for the hot seat? Yes. Okay, which I'm just kidding, but I do have a lot of questions, so let's yeah. get rolling. Question number one, when you were a little girl, what did you want to be when you grew up? Uh, you know, I wanted to be Diane Sawyer. You know, she's originally from Louisville, Kentucky, and I just adored her and loved watching her on the news. And so that kind of early on influenced me to want to be in broadcasting. That is so interesting. So you are basically living your childhood dream, like right yeah. in front of your eyes. Yeah. Okay. This makes the next question interesting. Okay, so we're going to put that aside. Okay, so besides what you do now, if you could have any career, regardless of education and, and not having to worry about money, so, so you don't have to worry about going to school for it, anything like that. If you could just snap your fingers and be anything else, what career would you want to have? You know, I, I love anything entrepreneurial. I've always just wanted to own and operate my own business. And I mean, I've been doing that a little bit here the past couple of years. And so, I mean, that's just something I'm passionate about is I think women in business, it's just a really inspirational thing that I look up to when I see like other women in, that own and operate their own businesses. So next question. So Claudia, you kind of already know this. Maybe I'm kind of obsessed with the fact that you were in a lifetime movie. Is acting a passion of yours? It's like my side, my side gig, I guess. I mean, it's my hobby. I really enjoy that. Um, yeah. <laughs> what was the name of it? Did you like see it like late at night? Somebody came up to me and they said, were you in this Lifetime movie? Like, it's kind of like a tell me what you didn't do last summer or something like that. I <laughs> wrote the name of it in my phone somewhere uh, like a year ago. I'm going to have to dig house. up the name of it. Secrets at the Lake House. Is that, is that what it was? That's what it is. Secrets at the Lake House. And I played, okay. um, yeah, somebody's mom on the show. And, and there were all these, like, new young stars that were in town, like, filming this movie. So it was super cool. It's so, fun to do. So did you do, like, plays in high school or anything like that? I didn't. I didn't do anything like that. I always, you know, I was involved in dance and ballet and, and things like that. And I, like, loved television. I would do TV commercials like on the side when I was younger and then throughout whenever I was in a different city working in television news, if there was an opportunity uh, to be an extra in a movie that was in town, like Runaway Jury was a really big one and I was a reporter in that. That's awesome. Okay, this one's a big one for me. What is your favorite like all out pig out meal? What is your like favorite kind of go nuts with it meal? Um, well, it's right now and I'm eating it way too much during quarantine. And I'm a little obsessed with uh, Jeff Wallach from Wallach Garden Center. He like taught me how to make this really good garden flatbread pizza. And so you put pesto on it, you put fresh vegetables. And so it's kind of like my version of the pig out meal, which is lots of vegetarian items on this flatbread pizza. Uh, pop it in the oven for like 10 minutes, done. And I yeah. can every single night that sounds amazing okay now this is something i'm super interested in is the fact that some people have like an inner monologue like a voice inside their head that like narrates their lives and others don't have that do you have an inner monologue yes i think we all do joanne you know i think i always i'm trying to like quiet those voices that say you can't do that or why would you even try or that sounded stupid it's i do a lot of yoga and meditation to quiet those negative voices right and and try to to listen to more aspirational things that kind of fill my head with positivity and influence and and to think of positive things but yeah i think i think we all do you know i think we all yes. do right now because we've been at home too much and i think that sometimes those negative voices can overpower um the positive ones so i'm just always trying to to sit and be still and listen kind of to those those positive affirmations in my mind. Me too. It's work, girl. Every yeah. single day it is. And and okay, so who have you met during your career that you geeked out the most over? Okay. This is a good I like this one. Um, okay. I'm obsessed right now with did you watch like the Britney Spears, the framing Britney Spears? I uh, haven't watched it yet, but I've been following well, the story and I'm gonna watch it. Got to. I have interviewed Britney Spears about three or four times when I worked in TV in New Orleans. I know, right? What? 
And so when I, I've interviewed her like three or four times, I've met her mom, we went to their house in Kentwood, Louisiana, and hung out with mom at the house. And it wasn't until that I saw the documentary that it kind of reaffirmed when I interviewed her, you know, the issues that I had with her struggle, it like, it validated those feelings that I had when, you know, she's this young girl that's so impressionable and so well-spoken and so pulled together. And she had this group around her that well-meaning many of them, but they like controlled like every aspect of, of what she said. So you watched it happen. In like yeah, real life. You know, and those were the feelings that I had at the time. And you know, it was I interviewed her like the first time on her first album, and she would have to have like pre-approved questions. Like you couldn't ask her about Justin Timberlake. You just could not. And she would, you could see the wheels turning that when you would step off a question that wasn't allowed, she would have to stop and look at everybody. And she could just, she was so sharp and her ability to, uh, she's just an incredibly authentic person. And her mom is the same way. And her assistant Felicia, they were all there for the interviews that I did with her and with her movie Crossroads. And they were phenomenal around her. Um, and you just had to always pinch yourself and realize this is just a young girl. All right, Claudia, if you could have one dream interview, who would it be with? Mm, right now, I want to talk to First Lady Brittany Bashir. Ooh, that's awesome. And what if what is your comfort show or movie that you could watch endlessly without ever getting tired of it? Uh, Fire, Fire, La Firefly Lane on Netflix. Okay, I've heard about this. Now I got to oh. check it out. And, and when it comes to books, do you prefer fiction or nonfiction? Ooh, both. I feel like I've been zipping back and forth between them right now. Feeling I like that. Like free time. Mm -hmm. Yes, I love that idea of like mixing up. And one last question. Uh, what is your sign? Scorpio. Scorpio, I I swear, Claudia, I should have guessed because I for some reason I would have guessed it. And Claudia, if people want to follow you on all your adventures, where's the best place to go? On Facebook, it's Claudia Coffee, Claudia Coffee TV, Instagram, Claudia Coffee TV, Twitter, Claudia Coffee TV. You see a theme going here. Yes. And, and check out my um, podcast, highlighting Kentucky tourism and countdown to Derby and all that stuff, which is horses, hats, and bourbon. Awesome, Claudia, thank you for letting us check out what you're like behind the scenes. Thanks, Joanne.